If, during a cross-country flight, we know the wind velocity, the true airspeed and the heading, we can calculate the track and ground speed. Assume the wind velocity is 100 degrees at 25 knots, the heading is 130 degrees and the true airspeed is 110 knots. We can now draw in the third side. So, if we were actually drawing the triangle of velocities to scale, we would see that the orientation of the third side was 138 degrees, giving us our track over the ground, and that its length indicated a ground speed along that track of 89 knots. The navigation computer can do this calculation for us. Set the wind, set the heading against the index mark, set the true airspeed under the center circle, read off the ground speed under the wind mark, read off the drift to give the resulting track. If the drift is to the right of the center line, add it to the heading. If the drift is to the left of the center line, subtract it from the heading. 